Hey everyone, Technometry here with a video for you guys. Now, if for some reason the Wi-Fi on your iPhone is not working, you want to follow these steps to quickly fix it. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is pull down the control menu or pull it up, put your phone on airplane mode briefly, and then turn it off so that you have a quick network refresh of your Wi-Fi signal and hopefully your Wi-Fi is working. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing to do is go into your setting on your iPhone and simply click on the Wi-Fi. Of course, make sure it's turned on. If you accidentally turned it off, it might not work. The other thing you can also do is pull it down here and make sure it's turned on from here as well by turning it on and off here. Or you can just simply turn it off and then turn it on and see if it connects that way and if it's working. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing you want to do is click on the Wi-Fi connection you have right here and then forget this network and click on forget to completely remove it and then you're going to rejoin it again. So go ahead and enter your password for your Wi-Fi. Now, once you re-enter your Wi-Fi password, just simply click on join and then reconnect to the network. And hopefully your Wi-Fi is working for you now. Now, if it's still not working for you, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is the next thing we want to do is a force restart over iPhone. In order to do that, we're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down and then hold on to this side button just like that. Now a screen will come up. This is slide to power off. Do not touch that. Just keep on holding on to that side button until the phone goes completely black. And then we're going to wait for the Apple logo to appear before we let go of that. Again, if it doesn't work the first time, try it again. Make sure you don't touch the screen when you're doing the volume up, volume down sequence before holding on to the side button. And that's all that's doing is shutting down the phone, completely re starting it by reloading the code so if it's a software related bug or glitch causing wi-fi not to work it will fix it and the other thing you also want to do is if you have a, a modem or a router nearby i would suggest unplugging it and wait a minute and then plug it back in similar sort of force restart doing on the your router sometimes those routers can get a uh, stuck frozen or a software issue where it's the internet's not coming through so we're going to go ahead and uh also restart that by unplugging it. The next thing you also want to do is in your setting on your iPhone is that in the battery section here you want to turn off low power mode if you have this setting on and the reason why you want to turn that is that certain functionalities get reduced when the phone is in low power mode to save battery and that could interfere with your Wi-Fi as well so we want to turn that off. And then the next thing you want to do is go into your iPhone cellular signal option here and then scroll down a little bit further to basically here where you have Wi-Fi assist. So you want to turn this setting off and see if that helps your Wi-Fi as well. Sometimes this feature can interfere with the Wi-Fi. Basically when you pour uh, cell Wi-Fi it connects to cellular instead of Wi-Fi and then turn it on just to see if that will make a difference for you. Now, if that does, then you know that there's a poor signal on your actual um, Wi-Fi. So you want to try to get close to your Wi-Fi or the router as well. Now, the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues is in the setting, see here, go to general, then go down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. Click on reset and we want to do a network reset. A network reset basically resets any network related settings only like saved Wi-Fi password and any Bluetooth connected devices but it's important to do that in order to troubleshoot any Wi-Fi related issue on your phone. So go ahead and do that. This will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe. You can go ahead and do it to fix it. Now lastly the next step you want to do is update your phone. Now, in order to update your phone, right, you might not be able to do it if you're not connected to, of course, Wi-Fi, if it's not working. So you need to connect your phone to a computer. So using iTunes or on a newer MacBook Finder to update your phone software. So in that case, you will have to watch another video because it's a little bit longer and this will become a really long video if we show you how to do that. But if you know how to do it, go ahead and do that and update your phone. And hopefully after doing that, your Wi-Fi is working. And if you guys found a better way to fix Wi-Fi not working, do let us know in the comment section. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next time.